Hey guys, Andrew from Model Flight here, and welcome to another weekly update. Today we have some really cool products to show you, just like the Super Diamona from Tap Tubby. Let's get into it. We have a few Taft Tubby aircraft in our range. One of these is a Super Demona. Um, today we're going to have a quick look at this one. So it's a 2.4 meter uh, power glider. The aircraft is a plug and play model, so you will need to add a receiver, uh, your radio gear, and then a suitable battery. So this can take uh, from a 2200 4S probably up to like a 3200. So a reasonably common battery size for this size of aircraft. Uh, the aircraft is beautiful in scale. So I guess this is the, the main point of this aircraft that we're going to con concentrate on is the scale of looks. Um, it is quite easy to fly and it is a T-tail, so it is an inherently stable aircraft and very easy to fly. Let's pop the hatch and have a look inside there. So now that we have the hatch open, I'm going to show you a couple of features inside that I think are quite neat. Uh, first of all, we've got a 40 amp hobby wing speed controller and the battery is going to lay uh, up in here. But one of the neat features is this, the steerable nose wheel on this aircraft. So to go along with the nice scale look with the wheel spats and the really, really nice uh, high quality nose leg is the fact that it actually has a steerable nose wheel. And that's really nice to be taxiing on grass and you want to actually have some authority on the ground instead of your rudder doing all the work. Uh, this will help you a lot. This aircraft is a plug and play like I mentioned before, so you will need to add your receiver in. Um, but the assembly time on the aircraft was roughly 25 minutes. Um, and then just to go ahead and add a receiver in, plug all your servos in um, and do the quick setup that the manual gives you for control throws. Should be a quitty, pretty quick and easy, probably about 40 minute um, from box to flying. <laughs> Most of you guys would be familiar with the Nano QX from Blade. It's one of our most popular sellers um, for good reason too. This drone is, I guess you could call similar to a lot of other products in the market. The defining feature that sets this apart, I believe, is the fact that the control system on it is really, really accurate. So what I mean by that is a lot of cheaper drones feel like you're kind of not flying it, um, whereas this feels like a real model. So it's the perfect aircraft to one, get into drones, and to two, and two, to progress yourself further um, by flying something that you know is not going to break when you crash it, um, is relatively cheap to get into, and you're going to build your skills and be able to fly something much larger. So if you're looking at getting a Phantom, um, I would recommend one of these for your training and you'll feel really confident flying the Phantom in attitude mode without your GPS um, help, um, and you're going to be able to learn on this. So we currently have these on sale for 99 bucks. This is for the bind and fly model we're showing you now. Um, I'll run through some of the stuff that comes in the box. We have the standard USB charger uh, for the 1S batteries. A uh, spare set of props in a different color as well as a different colored canopy, so you can tune them. Um, also, your spare set of props is useful. Um, and then the 150 milliamp battery. Now, you can upgrade these. Uh, we do have a Dual Sky version with a 180. Also, E-Flight have a 200 and Dual Sky have a 220. So you can get a bit more flight time and a bit more punch out of one of those packs. Um, also, the packs are nice and cheap, so you can buy multiple packs and have a good, uh, good long flight time. <laughs> The 200S from Blade is an upgrade on the 200SRX, so the previous model we had out. Um, the 200S is new, um, new look, and some cool features. So, um, physically and spec wise, this aircraft is a very similar size to the 200SRX. Perfect for large indoor areas as well as outdoor flying. Um, so, I think this sort of size helicopter bridges the gap to be able to be flown indoors as well as outdoors. Um, the aircraft comes with digital metal gear servos, uh, brushless tail rotor and main rotor. Um, it takes the popular 800 milliamp 3S uh, style pack and this is a ready to fly model. So you also get your power supply, the balance charger for the LiPo and also a DXE which is a nice addition. Uh, you can take this radio and use it afterwards on other aircraft so um, it gives you a decent radio to sort of have and, and build upon uh, through your next purchase. Now that we've got the canopy off, you can see the digital metal gear servos. This being a fixed pitch helicopter makes it the perfect platform for you to sort of get into helis to learn before moving up to a collective pitch. Um, the safe technology and the panic recovery also really helps. So when you start transitioning from your tail in hover uh, to your bit of your cir circuit work and also nose in, um, if you start getting in trouble, you can hit that panic recovery switch. Aircraft will level out providing you have enough height. I think that's the biggest thing to consider is make sure you've got enough height to recover. Once you do recover though, uh, you can regain control um, without crashing the model. So you're going to save yourself ultimately money and time spent fixing the aircraft. For those of you guys looking for a new FPV camera, I would urge you to take a strong look at the Helistar HS1177. Some basic specs in this camera uh, with a weight of 12.4 grams, nice and light. Uh, it does come with a nice mounting bracket as well for installation into your quadcopter or aircraft depending on how you are going to use it. 
The, the camera is a 600 TV line CCD and it is using the PAL format. It comes with a 2.8 mm lens as well um, and all your wiring hookups for hooking up to your VTX. Also, a nice feature is that you get this cable. Um, this is used for hooking up your on-screen display. Um, so changing your camera settings and um, your on-screen display settings. So for the money, this is a really, really affordable camera. Um, fantastic performance, really, really nice clear image, um, especially paired with a uh, FXT VTX that we also sell. It's gonna give you great range and um, a really, really crisp image. Thanks guys for joining us again for another weekly update video. I hope you've liked the products we've had time to show you today, including that Nano QX flying near my head. If, you've, if you want to check out any information on the products, please check the link below. Um, and if you've liked this video, give us a like, a share, um, subscribe. And also keep an eye out for the flight video we're going to do on the, the Super Demona. Um, that should be a good one. So I'll see you next week, guys. I'm Andrew from Model Flight. Thanks for tuning in.